Hey guys, it's King Butterbones here, and we are back for another Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game. Today, I'll be making another tier list, ranking all the Killer Clowns to the worst to the greatest. Now, if you guys want to suggest to me any videos ideas, you guys can. Now, if I don't pin your comment, or if I say, like, if I don't, or I already did, that means I already planned to do it and already did the video. So, if there's something new that I haven't thought of, and you guys want to suggest it to me, I will pin your comment. And if I pin your comment, you have a chance to be mentioned in the video. So I'll put the comment in the beginning, mention you guys like shout out to this person for, you know, suggesting this video. And that's really it. There you go. So thank you for the ones that are supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. You guys show so much love. Like it's insane. Like uh, I'm glad I have a very amazing community. You guys are very awesome and just keep keep on going. You guys you guys are doing so well, uh, especially for me. It really means so much to me. So if you guys want to see more Killer Comps from Outer Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so the first one is going to be Jumbo. Jumbo is a free character to unlock, including other weapons and abilities that will be unlocked as well. And he's an actual well-balanced character. The only downside I'll say is, is his strength. That's why I rather use the boxing gloves, which the boxing gloves does a bit more and is actually way fast. But if you want to use the mallet mace, you can for sure. So just for that, I'll put him at B tier because respectfully, he is well balanced. So that's why I'm going to put him there. All right. So the next one is Spiky. Spiky is one of my favorite killer clowns to use currently uh, besides Shorty, of course. And the difference between Spiky and Jumbo, uh, Spiky, his, his strength and his uh, movement decreased by a little bit uh compared to jumbo uh but for spiky his actual stanima and his senses have increased more than jumbo's so just because of the stanima and the senses i actually put him at a tier and not only that it actually requires level 12 to unlock spiky so once you're level 12 you get to use spiky and then you can use uh different weapons as well like the the popcorn gun and the penta shot so that's why i put him at a tier all right, so next one is Rudy. Now, Rudy requires to be level 28 to unlock, if I remember, which unlocks the Giga Ray and the Mace as well. So it's worth grinding for that. And Rudy, uh, he's a huge difference. His uh, his stamina is the highest stamina in the game. He's the fastest killer. And the movement is the second fastest in the game. And his strength and his senses are the weakest one. So uh, there you have it. So there is a downside to him, which makes sense. You know, he's fast, but not as strong and honestly i use them a lot as well uh compared to spiky as well i put them at well balanced but just for him being so fast and uh, he's actually like very very well now these two spiky and jumbo they have three health bars right but compared to rudy he has two health bars and just because of his health bar if he had three health bars i would have put him at a tier but just because uh his health and his you know his Stanima and his movement are very well. I actually put him above Jumbo because he is slightly better than him. But just because he has, you know, two health bar, he can easily be killed, sadly. So I'll put him at a B tier. All right, the next one is Chubby, aka the tank, you know? <laughs> so Chubby by itself, right? So the Stanima and the movement are very, very low, probably the lowest ones compared to the other Killer Clowns. But his strength. And the senses are the highest one in the game. So it makes a lot of sense. Now Chubby, a lot of people diss on Chubby, right? Now I understand at first I was dissing on Chubby as well. But until I realized when I used Chubby during the gameplay. Because I barely use him until I had that one video that I did. Of how to use Chubby. Um, yeah, Chubby is actually very, very, actually balanced for himself. Now the reason why, because... You know, he's supposed to be more tactical. He's supposed to help teammates. If you have communications with your teammate, using the tank is probably the best one. Because you can honestly, no offense to Chubby, but you can easily body block the uh, the exit. <laughs> you could probably know why. Uh, but he does a lot of damage. A it requires level 37 to unlock Chubby. You also get the Gobber Stopper Flail. Flair? Or flail. There you go. And... <laughs> You also get the um, the laser beam, which the laser beam I wouldn't recommend. But uh, what I recommend for Chubby is either using the mace or you can also use the Gobble Stuff with Flail. But I recommend the mace and the 
the Giga Ray as well. And then you can use the LOL, which kind of makes them fast. So just because Chubby is actually underrated and he's actually a well, well balanced killer for his class, I will actually put him at eight tier behind Spiky. So yeah. All right, so the last one is my favorite, which is Shorty. Now Shorty, I would like to compare to Rudy because uh, Shorty, his stamina is a bit lower than Rudy. Uh, Shorty's movement is currently the highest movement than all of them. Uh, his strength is higher than Rudy and his senses are lower than Rudy. So they're actually kind of both equal in that same class. But just because how short he is and how fast he is and using the LOL with the cotton candy gun and the mace makes him overly powerful. Even though he has two health bars, it, it's just it's just crazy crazy how fast he is and by the way i forgot to mention that chubby has four health bars i think four and a half but that's that's why it makes him buff uh but for shorty yeah he has two health bars now obviously he's a bit short so that's why he gets two uh if it was three he would have been insanely you know strong but you know it's all about movement on these killer clowns now some of them have bad movement but for shorty he has very very good movement so you can go left right behind yeah, you can dodge so many things. And what you unlock, you got to unlock them at level 50, the brawler class. And you get the boxing gloves. And I believe you get the, uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, the bouncer caster. There you go. So you get all those two. And just because how fast he is and the unique stats that he got. And I recommend using it. He's my one of my favorite characters. Not because I love Shorty, but he's actually one of the best ones. Uh, currently, the metal build is the cotton candy gun and the mace and uh lo using lol and you can either use the lore that's what i use the lore and that's really it so i'll put them directly at s tier and there you go all right so what do you guys think do you guys agree with me here but uh, tell me in the comment section what you would change or would not change or do you guys agree with me at all with the tier list now i am uh, I already planned this ahead, but I'm making the survivors tier list as well. No worries. And the weapons tier list for the survivors, I gotta get the 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 photos with that. I can't really find any of them, so I'm probably gonna try to customize it. I'll try my best for you guys. But if you guys want to see more kill counts for outer space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.